Covering Colorado first tonight, a community is working to stay above water after a string of violence at East High School. Back in February, East High School student 16 year old Luis Garcia was shot while sitting inside his car outside the school. This week, the Denver Police Department said there has been significant progress in the investigation, but still nobody has been arrested. Then in March, a 17 year old shot two administrators inside the school, causing hundreds of students to have to go into lockdown. Tonight, CBS Colorado's Brian Moss is learning how some East High students are breaking away from the stress and the anxiety and the turbulence that has marked the last school year. Good, good one. Somebody try get in front of the goalie though for a screen. You both ended up on the side. Bad talking Petruno. John Copperroot can be loud when he needs to be. And that's that. But in the last couple of years, there have been many quieter moments for the coach of the East High School hockey team, as his hockey program has helped team members cope with the unimaginable. <laughs> Teenage boys prepping for practice, all smiles, laughs, and gentle chirping. But in February of this year, 16-year-old East High School student Luis Garcia was shot and killed as he sat in a car near the school. Just a month later, two East High School deans were shot as they patted down 17-year-old student Austin Lyle. The dean survived, but Lyle later took his own life. We've addressed it as a team, but I've talked to probably a half a dozen kids individually about it as well, where, you know, they have issues or, you know, we talk to our kids all the time about what's going on. Great so far. Hard working. All that violence, sadness, and stress turned hockey practices into a peaceful place for all these kids. This is, this is their world right now. This, this is the world. Nothing else matters. So, fun stuff. On the ice with the drills, the crisp passes, the slap shots, and the occasional tune-up from the coach. You have to get it under your control. You stop, you reach one way or the other, whatever it takes. It's all really a soothing world for these boys, a welcome distraction from the outside world. It's, um, it's my escape. I like, there's so much noise going on in the world. When I step on the ice, it's just gone, and I just have fun every day. My escape, I skate every day of the week here and outside. Help me keep off of school and everything else. Keep the stress down. Well, you know, I don't forget about the stuff going on in the world, but I say it's definitely kind of a break from what's going on outside of hockey and just, it's kind of a nice getaway being out here on the cool ice. Here, all that noise is forgotten, if only for a couple of hours at a time. East won the state hockey championship in 2022. They hope to do it again this year. For these kids, being on the ice keeps them out of hot water balanced and focused. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. Now, East is the only DPS school with a varsity hockey team, so the team includes skaters from South High and Northfield and other DPS schools as well.